Difference between metals and non-metals. Things that we see around ourselves can be broadly classified into two distinct groups, metals and non-metals. Metals and non-metals differ from each other in many ways. Let us find out how. Metals are malleable. Malleability is the ability of a material to be beaten into thin sheets without breaking. Remember that gold is the most malleable metal. Non-metals are not malleable. They break into pieces when beaten with a hammer. Metals are ductile. Ductility is the ability of a material to be drawn into thin wires without breaking. OK, suppose we make wire of about 28 gram of gold. How long can this wire be? Any guess? 1 meter? 100 meter? Would you believe we can draw this much gold into a wire 80 kilometers long? Phew! On the other hand, non-metals are not ductile. You cannot stretch a wood and make a wooden wire out of it, can you? Metals are sonorous. It means that they produce a ringing sound when struck with a hard object. Non-metals are not sonorous. They do not produce ringing sound as in the case of a bell. Metals are good conductor of heat. They allow the heat to pass through them easily. Non-metals are bad conductor of heat. It means that they do not allow heat to pass through them. Metals are good conductors of electricity. They allow electricity to pass through them. When a metal is placed in the circuit, the bulb glows, which shows that metals are good conductors of electricity. Non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. When a non-metal is placed in the circuit, the bulb does not glow which shows that non-metals are poor conductors of electricity. Metals have high melting and boiling points. For example, the melting point of iron is 1538 degrees Celsius and boiling point is 2862 degrees Celsius. Non-metals have low melting and boiling points with the exception of diamond and graphite. For example, the melting point of sulphur is 115.2 degrees Celsius and boiling point is 444.6 degrees Celsius, which are low as compared to those of metals. Metals are lustrous, which means they shine brilliantly. Hence, the ornaments are usually made up of metals. Non metals are not lustrous, which means they do not shine. Metals are solid in state, except mercury, which is in liquid state at room temperature. Non-metals can be solid, liquid or gas. For example, phosphorus is in solid state, bromine is in liquid state and chlorine is in gaseous state. Metals are hard. It is difficult to cut them in pieces except for sodium and potassium which are soft and can be cut with a knife. Non-metals are soft. Most of the non-metals are in gaseous state. Diamond is an exception. It is an allotrope of carbon and yet is the hardest known natural substance. Metals mostly form positive charged ions, which are known as cations. Non-metals mostly form negatively charged ions, which are known as anions. Metals are mostly monoatomic, like sodium, potassium and calcium. Non-metals can be diatomic, triatomic or even polyatomic. For example, Chlorine is diatomic and phosphorus is polyatomic. A good understanding of the differences between metals and non-metals can help us use them in a better way. Don't you agree?